they look much better. No more tape on the side. <gasps> we are under a tornado watch. Oh, is she cute? That's what's headed this way. So we just can't get a break from this weather. We had a full slate of drivers yesterday when I started, and today we're short of drivers. So. I feel like it's going to. <sighs> I hope not. We've got Braxton. Where are you at, Braxton? Hello. Braxton. You're going to Grandma with me. A bag of donations. And Skylar, who told me I cannot put him on camera because he's mad at me. He's not really. He's just okay. being a dork. But anyway, we are headed okay. into Dubuque look today look because. Look let's see your Mario glasses. Kart. Look, yes, look my Mario Kart. Because. I don't know. Are you even in there? There. Mm. Sky needs to get his glasses. You're not putting fixed. me on here? Yeah, so a while what? back he had gotten them pulled on the side and then now they're just completely snapped. Hey! I'm seeing if I even brought it. So anyway, we are headed in to do that. I've got donations to drop off and we have to do something else. We have to stop at a store and I'm hoping to pick up two shirts because I found these shirts on clearance and they still have a few more styles and I want to pick them up because they are super nice and soft, you guys. So anyway, we're headed off. the train. Then you just wanted to hear the train, huh? Are we waiting for the big boys there and getting drinks? Oh, I let him fly in here! <laughs> I'm gonna roll down the window for him. All right, let's see them. They look much better. No more tape on the side. They're a little bit different color. They're a little bit like more of a... They're blacker. Kind of like a grayish brown almost. They're nice though. They look good. So every time we come into Dubuque, this is where Skylar wants to go. <laughs> all right, we're back home. We got our, all our running done. I wanted to show you guys something. I picked this up the other day. We were at Victoria's Secret and I found this stuff. It's called Bombshell and it's not sponsored. I was just really excited to find this because you guys, I had gotten this scent and it was called Fearless by Loves when Matt and I went to Puerto Rico and they discontinued the scent. This smells just like it. So I was really excited. So if you guys haven't smelled this yet and you like like a really light, not really florally, I don't know, it's a really fresh scent. This stuff is amazing. It's amazing. It's got Why vanilla orchids and passion fruit, I think, or passion flowers or something like that in it. It smells so good, you guys. So now that we're back home though, I'm gonna get started on some of the stuff I would normally do in the morning, but I didn't have time to do before we left. So I'll usually like make my bed. I did start a load of laundry already, so I'm gonna switch that and then I'll do some dishes. And then I'm gonna hit a power hour in this house and focus on whatever two rooms I have scheduled for Tuesday because that has been working really, really well for me. Minus getting this dining room table cleared off. That seems to be my big hot spot. Are you gonna let him in? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Oh my goodness, you got a haircut, huh, Red? You got a haircut. You needed it. Hi. Hi. You look so silly. <laughs> well, I think you made that. What are you doing? Making a movie. You're making a what? Mermaid. A mermaid? Mermaid! Oh, I thought you said a mermaid. I'm like, how do you make a mermaid? Yes, and I'm a frustrated actor. You're what? 
a frustrated actor. I'm his actor. And he doesn't even have a movie ready or any other people. Oh no, are you one of those actors? Yes. <laughs> what are one of those Nobody actors? What do you two think of that? What do you think of that, Ma? Aw, oh, you're so sweet, Reddington. Hi, Dookie. Hi, Duke. What are you doing out here? Okay. Watching we're YouTube? There, there. You are a new Lamborghini Eating your driver. snack. Alright, go ahead and turn left. This is where you get the Lamborghinis from. From the sharer videos, huh? <laughs> I was wondering where that came from. You're so quiet. Why are you so quiet? I can't talk. <gasps> you have your mouth full. Good manners. Okay, so I'm watching the news right now, you guys, because, yeah, you can hear the dogs are getting a little fussy. We are under a tornado watch, but where Matt is for work, they said there was a tornado. No, there's a tornado in Delaware. Tornado in Delaware. So not Dyersville. I'm just worried it's going to get near them. So yeah, we're just going to keep an eye out. We are under a tornado watch. But it came across my phone, tornado warning. I'm getting my shoes on right now. Okay, get your shoes on. Okay, so here's what we're looking at right now, you guys. It's humid, but right now we don't really have have anything going on in the way of activity even in the sky. You can see it's all blue over there. All right, you guys, so you can see a little bit up in the sky there, but, oh, I'm shaking. But not much right now. We'll just keep an eye on it, see what happens. So, Did Tina get a new puppy? Where's your puppy? Does he like to get picked up? We just got it yesterday. Does she? Oh, isn't she cute? Does he like to get picked up? Oh, baby. Does he like to get picked up? <laughs> so that right there, I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom in a little bit. But that's what's headed this way. So we'll see. And Matt's in Dyersville and Braxton said it's heading straight that way. So. so we just can't get a break from this weather, you guys. It's been humid and hot. Looks like we're looking at heat advisories, 100 to 110 degrees it was saying one day, so I don't know what day that's coming up for. I'm going to have to look more into our weather stuff and see, but those advisories were coming across, so I don't know if that's for tomorrow, if that's for the weekend, which is what Braxton thought. If so, I think I might take the kids swimming. Matt made it home from work. Okay. It's been a long day. You went in at what? 6, 6 a.m. And you didn't get off till almost six. six. I got off at six. So it was a long day for him, but he brought home McDonald's because we had a busy day today. It has not been. It's been one of those days it where it's been an eat on the go day. day. Well, no, you know, tomorrow. and I feel bad because I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to go to bed. But I remember driving the bus. I wasn't sleeping at home, so at least they get to see me a little bit. But tomorrow I don't start till seven. We only have a few forms to pour tomorrow, so we should be, should, should be, this is all a learning curve at this place, so we should be done early. Yeah, so we, you just started yes. a new position, he got offered a position and you're doing cement truck, right? I, I drive a mixer, yes, but the place that i work for has never this is all new to them too like they've been in the cement business for a long time but they've never actually made their own and had their own cement truck so it's a really big learning curve and we started out we had a full slate of drivers yesterday when i started and today we're short of drivers so hey. so t and i are finally sitting down to watch I'm gonna cry. The last two episodes of Haven. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is the series finale. These are the last two episodes. So if you have not seen it, we've been binge watching it on Netflix. It's very good. <sighs> it is very so sad. Good. Yes, it has been sad, and I'm hoping it doesn't end sad. I feel like it's going to. <sighs> I hope not. We'll see. So we'll let you know we'll what we think. You. Yes. Okay. So I have a love-hate relationship with you. <laughs> with the ending of this show yeah. and i won't spoil it because it's still on netflix if you haven't seen it it's worth it's got watching five the five we seasons we finished it in like a month yeah probably would have a little sooner but, but. with the fireworks <laughs> you guys it was so good it made me cry 
Yeah. But it would, uh, and I have so many questions. I do. I might have to read the book. It's based on a Stephen King book, The Colorado Kid. And you can totally tell it's Stephen King's writing. Oh, yeah. But it's like lighthearted Stephen, Stephen King. King. <laughs> but it's still very dark. It, it was really good, you guys. But I still have a love-hate relationship with the ending of yeah. the series. So now I want to read the book. I wonder if it sums it up more in the book. I hope so. Anyway, good night, guys. Yeah.